Hey, 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 beautiful people out there. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video from what I normally do. It's going to be a review video of the newest season of um, Antisocial Social Club clothing. Uh, they're doing their stressed spring summer collection. Um, oh, oops. And uh, yeah, today I'm going to be giving you some of my thoughts, some of my personal opinions on some of the uh, some of the items in the collection here today. So first of all, we're going to start off by looking at Hype Beast's initial post. Um, this one was in March eighth. Um, so this was the first couple of photos they received of the new collection by Antisocial Social Club. Uh, there is, as you can see, a lot of hoodies, jumpers. And a couple shirts. I think it's very... For a spring-summer collection, I thought there'd be a lot more shirts this time around. But I could be wrong. This was just the initial image we got. And it looks like there's a lot of hoodies and jumpers. Which, for me, I'm keen on that. Like, I love that. I think that's awesome. Because I'm not a huge... Uh, spend all the money on shirt kind of guy. I way prefer an expensive jacket or hoodie over... Just a really expensive shirt and things like that. Which I think antisocial is awesome for because now we've got all of these kind of items here. Um, some of the hoodies and stuff that I'm looking out for are like that one's a classic. I would love to get that one. I haven't seen it before with the stuff on the arms. I think that's kind of awesome. Um, we've got this checkered uh, crew neck here. That I really want. If the antisocial on the front is embroidered, oh. Definitely going for that one. Definitely going for that one. Um, and this one. I like the idea, like, as they've displayed it in these photos, I like the idea of having one hoodie underneath and then a second one over the top. Um, I'd probably go, like, an extra large with the pink and then a double XL with the, um, I think it's black. It doesn't look black in the photos. It looks kind of dark blue, but I, I reckon it's black. That would be sick. I love it how they've done it in this photo. This is awesome. This is an awesome photo. Um, what else do we have? A couple shirts. I'm unsure on what this is. Like, is that the arms of the jacket? Is that another jacket over the top? I'm very confused with that, that image there. Uh, they're doing backpacks. I saw the doing backpacks, side bags, all that kind of jazz in the latest collection. So that'll be kind of cool to see. Um, that's kind of cool. I think that works with the aesthetic of like the backpack, you know, make it seem like a school kind of thing. Um, like a school, um, school's merch, school's clothing, and especially by it saying Antisocial Social Club, class of 2019, it definitely does that whole thing. This is kind of cool, the logo upside down, I don't know if they've released one with an upside down logo before, I haven't seen one with an upside down logo before, but it's a cool concept because you don't only just get the antisocial here and the antisocial on the back, you also get it down the arms, I really like how they're utilising that now, because uh, a couple of their... I thought a couple of their hoodies before were kind of plain by just having it one on the front, one on the back, and adding it on the arms is just that, that like that little extra bit that I needed for me to be like, yeah, that's a cool piece. Like I really want that. Um, they've been doing. They've got quite a few pieces coming out in this collection that have got. Um, how do I put it? The very much the message that the brand displays about being by yourself alone all that kind of jazz which from my knowledge is how the brand started um like a lot a lot of the get weird kind of stuff that was kind of cool but now there's a lot of ones like yeah this one here yeah you're all, you're all alone in the end i reckon that stuff's sick I, it's like kind it's very much sad posting but in a cool way because i don't think it's hit that point where it's cringy but at the same time it's enough for me to be like i would wear that like that's not it's not enough for me to be like that's a little bit too too obscure i would definitely wear that i mean i'm wearing very obscure stuff at the moment as we can see <laughs> uh yeah and there's the iconic get weird and stuff like that okay well that's the first collection well the first photos of the collection let's go to the second lot of photos which again was posted by hype beast again um there must be in the inside scoop and all that good stuff um, we've got some jackets. Okay, we didn't see that in the initial photos. So we've got a bomber. And I don't... I've never seen this before. I wonder if it's got anything on the back. They don't have any photos of it, but there might be... That'd be kind of cool. If it's got, like, just the brand logo on the back. It's simple, 
but it's clean, so I could respect it. I could I could definitely get around a piece like that. Um, but moving on from the jackets, we'll go down to the sweatshirts. This is cool. I, I love the idea of having a barcode or a product code on the front of a hoodie. I reckon that's sick. I would personally love a hoodie with a barcode on the back of it. I think something as simple as that would be really, really awesome. Um, so I like that Antisocial has incorporated that kind of idea by putting a product code or like a, I don't know what they call it. I see them all the time on the, my boxes that I get the um, postage stamps, I suppose. Yeah, those. I think that's really cool. Um, <laughs> box art, a little nice little box art. I think that's cool as well. Um, that's an awesome little thing that they've added. I mean, they've had them before, but it's usually been some really obscure pictures of like just a plate of meat or something. This, I like this. This is cool. An iconic just brand logo hoodie. Yep, another one. That's kind of cool. It's subtle. I don't, pink. Yeah, I can still get around it. I can still get around it. It's kind of cool. I could rock that. Processing. That's kind of cool if it's got the Antisocial Social Club brand logo on the back in the same color. That, that I reckon that'd be a cool cop to get. I reckon I might try and go for that one as well. Declined. So obviously a very computer programmer based collection this time around. They've got Declined as well. Red and white. Could be cool. I, I would get it. If it didn't cost me an arm and a leg, I'd probably get that one too. I'm not going to lie. The power plot. That's sick. Okay, that's cool. That's a cool concept. If that was embroidered, 10 out of 10. Would cop it 100%. If it's been printed, still cool. I would still get it. But I would be much more inclined to get it if that was like embroidered and it stuck out. Oh, that would be awesome. 100%. kind of basic sort of feeling it if I got it if someone gave it to me I wouldn't be like I'd never wear it because I would wear it but I feel like if out of all the hoodies that I've seen so far and I've only seen 9 out of 23 of them I think almost any of the other ones that I've seen so far are better than this one not gonna lie there we go there's the one I was talking about before the, if I could get both that'd be sick if I had to pick one I'd pick the black I don't think I'd pick the pink the pink I do like pink, but there is a time and a place for pink, and all the time is not that time, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> uh, get weird. Okay, this is cool. It's not that out there. It's not that crazy. It's subtle. I like it. And it's white. I'm a big fan of white hoodies. As much as it is hard to keep them clean, I am a big fan of them. Not going to lie. Brown or tan, if you really want to get specific. It's kind of cool. It's it's just iconic. It's just there. I think it's labeled Mind Games. I think that style is called. They've labeled labeled it the Mind Games hoodies. Oh no no oh no shit. Oh, okay, so this is the one that we were looking at before. Okay, yeah. Okay, I want this one as well. This one's cool. It's cool. It is. I'll, I might try and cop that one. So this is it's it's going to be deceiving. See, I think this is a Mind Games one. Looking at the front, but I'm going to flip it over. Yeah, and it's the, yeah, okay, okay, yep. That's cool, I wouldn't get it in pink, I'd get it in the tan. I don't have many tan hoodies, actually. I don't have many tan clothing pieces in general, but that's pretty cool. Is, oh, oh they did the dragon one in a hoodie? Oh, okay, so they don't have a second image, but the dragon one, essentially, there's this little dragon going through the brand logo here. On the back, it's very much the same. I think that's really cool. They had a white crew neck, but it didn't stand out as well because the dragon is white. And it just didn't really work well on white, but on black, I think that's a lot better. I think that's actually really cool. Okay, I didn't see this one. I don't know if there's anything on the back of that one or if it's just a normal one. They would have surely gotten a second photo if it was, so I'm just going to assume it's a normal one. Z Zip up hoodie is instantly a no. Just going to say it. I like that it's multicolored. I think that's kind of cool. But zip up hoodie makes me feel like I'm 10 years old and I'm doing the, the thing where you put your arms in your pockets, you flip it over your shoulders. Yeah, it feels like I'm going to do that if I put on a zip up hoodie. Like, I just can't. It, zip up hoodies are a big no for me. Like, it would have to be a piece that I very much want and I couldn't get in a pullover hoodie. That would be the only reason I would get it, in all honesty. That's the only reason. That's really hard to see with it being white on white. Um, it looks like just a normal antisocial hoodie with multicolored text on the front and I assume back. 
They haven't give, given us a lot of photos to see. Yeah, okay. So here's Antisocial Social Club with some kind of text. It looks like the logo has been... Again, they've got a second Antisocial Social Club logo and stretched it over the top of the white. That's kind of what it looks like. I can't really tell. It's really hard to see from this image. Um, that kind of looks like what it is. Oh, no, here we go. This is what it says. I had a vision, but no one cares anyway. See, this is what I'm talking about, about the sad posting. I think this is cool. I really like this, but it'll be it'll be different for different people, but I think it's really well done. I don't think it's too much. I would wear that. That's cool. I like this one more than the black one because the black one, you can't see what the text is that's being stretched over the top of the logo. This one, because it's black on white, and the logo, the Antisocial Social Club logo is pink, you can tell. Um, I think it looks a lot better. I think it looks a lot better with it being in white and having the black stretched over. It probably looked better if they did the same thing but on the black and just had a white stretch logo over the top of it. I don't know why they didn't do that, but I'm not the designer of Antisocial Social Club, unfortunately. <laughs> ah, this is the reverse one, the one with the upside down text and stuff like that. This one, I'm really feeling this now. I wasn't feeling it initially because I thought it was just a long sleeve shirt. But it's a crew neck, and I'm really feeling, like, this is cool. This is really cool. I, I might actually, this might be the piece I, like, first go for when it drops. I'll just, like, definitely go for this one. It's crazy. Okay, moving on to sh shirts now. They've got t-shirts and shirts. So that's kind of cool. Um, this just looks like to be the flannels. Ooh, that's kind of cool. The flannels last time didn't have flowers on them. They just had the brand logo. So that's kind of cool. I like that. Oh, that's it. They're only releasing one. <laughs> I was so ready to go through like 10, but no, there's only one. Okay, that's depressing. Well, not depressing, but if you really want it, you've only got one shot of getting it. This is cool. I like that they've done the same concept with the hoodie on a shirt. I think it works better on a shirt in some ways. Um, because you could have this, per se, you could have that shirt and then you could have a cool jacket over the top of it and still have it showing. Same with the hoodie, but obviously with the hoodie and jacket, you can only really wear that in like really cold temperatures. With a shirt, you got a little bit more freedom. That's what I mean about it being a little bit better on a shirt than a hoodie. Um, a van. That one, I don't know. I'm not really feeling that. But, oh, well, I don't know. It doesn't really scream anti-social social club when I see that. I just see it as like some kind of shirt I could buy at like Kmart or something. That's cool. Another one. Another one about the whole wearing the jacket over the top of it. That's another thing I could see that happening with. That's cool. Okay, what does it say? Is it it? Oh, it's Antisocial Social Club. Like the, like the, I don't know what the game's called. It's not, I, I can't remember the name of the game show, but that's cool. I like that. That's nice. That's clean. I like that shirt. That's cool. That's really cool. I wish it wasn't on blue. I wish it was either on black or white, but that's cool. I like that little box art. Negativity is love. That's cool. The hot pink is a bit too hot for me. I don't know if I'd wear it with hot pink. I like it if it was just again black or white. Very basic, I know, I know, but simplicity is key. That's kind of cool. Just a shirt says so it's from the collection. That's cool with the gold. Again, would have preferred if it was black and white, but I can deal with some gold. That's that is awesome. That I really like. That's a good shirt. That's probably my favorite shirt. That or the first one. That or the first one is probably my favorite shirts. Oh, down to bottoms. We're on the bottoms, people. So we've only got two options. We've got the sweatpants, which sort of feeling, sort of not. The logo is kind of in a weird place. And because the brand name is so long, if you had to type it all out, um, yeah, it on some sweatpants is kind of weird. This, I can see people making the whole kit of the shorts and the top. I get that. I can see that happening. Um, I can respect that. I'm not a huge shorts guy, so probably not for me. They are doing bathrobes. Yo. Okay. That's cool. I like that. It looks like a bathrobe. I, uh, yep. Caps. Dad hats. And not really. I like the simplicity of just this one over the pink one. That one's, that one's a bit too much. Not because it's pink, just because of how it is. That's cool. They always do white and red, which I can respect, but it's not really for me. This I like more than the white and red, the pink and black. 
Yeah, that okay. I like the iconic text and the brand's logo on a dad cap more than I liked the hoodie with that same concept. I like the hat more. Socks, I don't know about that. I kind of like simple socks, not ones that are like, are these sweatbands? I can't tell what this is. Is it a rubber? Is this an eraser? I don't know what this is. It looks like a rubber. But I thought it might be sweatbands. Okay, well, if that's a rubber, that's hilarious. I might actually just see if I can buy one, just for the sh shits and gigs. Oh, it might be, because there's pencils! <laughs> okay, so they might actually do rubbers and pencils. Wow, okay, when, um, when, your, bra when your favorite brands are diving into stationery, I suppose. <laughs> that's crazy, oh my god. That's a ruler. One of those ones that you like slap and it curls around your wrist? That's one of those! <laughs> That's so weird. I never expected them to do like, yeah, okay. A flashlight. Okay. Get some weird accessories. The po- um... What are they called? Swiss Army Knife. This is cool. I like this as a, like a concept that they're doing things like that. No. They're not doing they're not doing electrical plug covers. No way. That's whack, man. That's weird. There's got to be some story behind that. There's got to be some like weird thing where the brand owner tried to neck himself by stabbing one of these one times. Because there's no way a brand would just be like, well, let's do this. This is whack. Is that belt or tape? It looks like tape because it's being rolled out. It's tape. I was kind of keen. If that was a belt, I'd be kind of keen on that. Not going to lie. It's kind of reminiscent of an off-white belt if it was, but I still like the idea. Balloons. Ah, oh, but if they pop, just never blow them up. Just never blow up. Blow them up. The hard hat. <laughs> That's going to look so weird. And it's like, it's not a solid color either. Like you can clearly see through it, which is hell weird. But you know, whatever, whatever. Yeah, that's cool. Yep. Car plates. I, I respect it. That's kind of cool. I, I Maybe I'll buy one one day if the set isn't too expensive. What in the hell is this? Is this just a cube? What the hell is this? Leave a comment in the comment section if you know what this is, because I'm interested. What the hell is this? Is it like... Is it like one of these? I'll get it up. It's like one of these things, you know, like with the, like paper. Is that what it is? And like this side here is where it says get weird. And on the top is where it would say antisocial. <sighs> Look, I, I got no idea. I got no idea. They've lost me there. They've lost me there. And the bag. Yeah. Weird that on the second lot of photos, we didn't, there's no more is there. Yeah. Weird on the second lot of photos, we didn't get to see the backpack. I wonder if the early images of the backpack means that there was just a sample and that we're not going to get it. Because that's interesting. That's interesting. Well, either way, guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching my little um, review on the Antisocial Social Club drop of uh, Spring Summer 2019. I'll be definitely trying to cop some pieces of, of Antisocial myself. But um, let me know if you guys managed to score anything and what you're after from this uh, collection. Just leave comments in the comment section. Uh, don't cry, just subscribe, and we'll uh, catch you next time, fellas. See you in the next video.